Abraham and Sarah had a baby when they were like 99 years old. Really? They named him Isaac, which means laughter, because isn't that hilarious? Well, God promised Abraham and Sarah as many descendants as stars in the sky. Wow. So by the time Isaac grew up, they wanted to make sure he would have a big family. Isaac met Rebecca and they married and tried to grow their family. Rebecca and Isaac had twins 20 years after they were married and named them Esau and Jacob. Jacob stole Esau's birthright, then ran away. You don't see that every day. So now Jacob is running away to his uncle's house, Laban. When he arrives, he meets Laban's daughters, Leah and Rachel. Jacob fell in love with Laban's younger daughter, Rachel, and agreed to work for Laban for seven years in exchange to marry Rachel. After seven years of working on the farm, Jacob finally gets to marry Rachel. But the night of their wedding, Laban gives Leah to him instead. Oh boy. Jacob was so sad because he loved Rachel so much. But Laban insisted that the younger daughter could not be married before the older daughter. So Jacob must marry Leah. Laban said if Jacob worked for another seven years, he would give him his blessing to marry Rachel too. Jacob loved Rachel so much that he worked another seven years and married her too. An intense rivalry between the two sisters developed. In the end, Jacob fathered 12 sons and a daughter. The story of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is really difficult, yet God used all three to impact history. Their 12 sons were the leaders of the 12 tribes that became the nation of Israel. Through their family, God blessed the entire world as Jesus was born from the tribe of Judah and offered salvation to all. 